God's new kingdom would be a kingdom of peace. I believe it was the prophet Isaiah who promised that in this kingdom of peace, the lion would lie down with the lamb. Two opposite images. Two animals who were not friendly at all. And yet, in this new kingdom of peace, they would be friends. There would be no fear, no mistrust. The lion would lie down with the lamb. It's an image that we see in our church. A church that truly is a church filled with images. The people of the Old Testament who were the first to hear that prophecy of Isaiah, the lion would lie down with the lamb, the lion was important to them. They were waiting for a Messiah, but they were waiting for a Messiah who would be a, a, a lion of Judah. That's a line they would use. The new Messiah would be a lion of Judah who would fight their enemies, who would win them land, who would win them freedom. Their Messiah would be a warrior, a lion. And that's who they waited for. That's what they had in their mind, and that's what they were looking for. From one generation to the next, they looked for a warrior, a fighter, a military leader who would bring them to victory. They wanted and waited for a lion, not a lamb. What could a lamb do? A lamb was quiet and silent and peaceful. A lamb could not fight. A lamb did not have power. They were waiting for a lion, but it was a lamb that they would receive. The lamb of God, who would bring them freedom and peace through being peaceful, through being loving, through being forgiving, a lamb who would teach us that in order to be truly victorious in life, we would need to be calm and peaceful and loving and forgiving. That war only would beget more war, but peace would beget peace. The lion would lie down with the lamb because of the power of the lamb who indeed had many tasks. A lamb who would have many tasks. We, of course, know who that lamb is. The lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, the shame of the world, the sadness and the darkness of the world. The lamb is Jesus. Who, for us, every single day of our lives, is not only the Lamb of God, but our shepherd, Lamb and shepherd at the same time. The Lamb who speaks to us, reminding us of the importance of listening to His voice. Because when we allow ourselves to listen for His voice every day, believing that it's there, because it is, when we go into each and every day believing that the Lamb, the Shepherd, will speak to us, we hear Him and we become attuned to His voice. Jesus Himself said that, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. They know my voice. Elsewhere, he said something that's so important for us to know and realize. He told his listeners that as shepherd, the Father has placed his people in his hands, and nothing and no one could snatch them out of his hand. My friends, I think that's so important for you and me to know as we live our everyday lives. Lives that can call us in so many directions. Lives that can be so busy 
and chaotic at times that sometimes we just don't know where to go, what to do, or to whom to turn. And there's a promise in the relationship that we share with God that if we turn to His Lamb, our Shepherd, if we take the time to slow down and be calm and reflective, we will indeed hear His Word. A Word that will always remind us of the importance of being like Him. A word, a voice that will always call us away from the darkness of self-absorption, the darkness of just being concerned about ourselves, because there's no salvation in that. There's no peace in that. Salvation and peace always comes when we, like him, turn to the other. The story of Jesus, the story of the Lamb of God, when we carefully listen to it, is a story of God's triumph over sadness, His victory over death and darkness and all of the byproducts of selfishness, which is sin. When we allow ourselves each and every day, each and every day, to not only attune our ears to the sound of His voice so that we can truly hear what He's saying, when we remember, no matter what is going on in our own lives, whether personally or professionally or socially, when we remember that we rest in the palm of His hand, safely in the palm of His hand, and that no darkness can snatch us away, we find ourselves a bit braver. We find ourselves being lambs with the hearts of lions, looking at the darknesses that try to weave themselves into our lives. We can look at petty jealousies and envies. We can look at moments of anger and sadness and know that because of Him, we have power over those things. We have the ability to look jealousy and envy and anger and hatred and prejudice in the eye and say with the heart of a lion, but the wisdom and the serenity of a lamb, be gone, for you have no power over me. My friends, that's who you and I are as Christians. When we allow ourselves to follow the voice of our shepherd, who is the Lamb of God, we find within our strength a resiliency that sometimes we forget we have. We find within ourselves an inner strength, a real strength, to not only shoulder some of the burdens of life, but to rise above them. You know, our Christian life, Following Him, following the Lamb of God, is truly a life of resurrection. And if we allow ourselves to be truly affected by His, we'll find ourselves living in a way that other people can notice. We will find ourselves weathering life's problems and maybe even confusing people who don't use that power when they wonder where our strength might come from. We remember, we know where our strength comes from because we listen every day to Him. You know, we've got to talk about sainthood. Yeah, sainthood, right here, right now. We can be like them, the saints, because I've always had a theory that despite what was going on in their world, no matter what century they lived in, they are the ones that truly listened to the Word of God. They were the ones who were able to, well, filter out the noise of their noisy world. And I don't care what decade, what generation, what, 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 what world they lived in. It was noisy for them if ours is noisy for uh, us. They were able to filter out the noise. They 
truly were able to listen to the Word of God. And in that great image that we are given in the New Testament of, of men and women standing before the throne of the Lamb, washed in His blood, wearing garments as white as snow, those are the people who truly were able to listen. Those are the people that, that heard the Lamb's voice, who heard Christ's call to goodness and holiness. They heard His call to care about other people, to reach out, to listen, to change and transform people's lives. That's why we call them saints today. Well, my friends, we certainly hope to be one day where, where they are now. But in the meantime, we're here. Not here, but here. We're here right now, and you and I can bring the same peace and sense of calm and forgiveness and care and concern and love to our world. We can bring those same gifts to our world as they brought to theirs when we truly take the time to allow our ears to become attuned to His voice. When we realize that the lion can lay down with the lamb right now because that's the grace that Jesus has given us. We can bring peace and transformation to our lives if we remember that He indeed is with us always, that He is the source of our strength, that we, like Him, are invited to live docilely as lambs, but with the heart of lions, in sharing His love. Till next time, I'm Father Dan O'Connell, and this is We've Got to Talk.